Hey guys, it seems that the heat is now getting, you know, hotter. Yes, Nigeria has done the heat. They feel the heat of the first subsidy now. As uh, Tunubu can impose huge VAT on petrol without cautioning subsidy remover. This is not going to be easy. You know, people go just they talk, eh? First subsidy remover is the best, so that this and this and that and all that. Nobody is saying that he has not made a good move. But before you made a good move, there are so many things you're supposed to put in place. For goodness sake, there are some times you'll be doing the right thing at the wrong time. This is going to hit Nigerians. Now, we not get light for this country. Now this fuel now we take the pump water. Now this fuel now we take the sea road. Now this fuel now we take they do everything. So all our lives is involved in this fuel. You can't increase and boom. You can't remove fuel subsidy without putting some certain things in place. Salaries was not increased. You understand? Light in all day. Now, now we don't see the hearsay. They don't increase. They don't increase tariff. If you even see the map where they come bring out, they come bring out and say during good luck Jonathan time, eh? eh? Electricity now like one thousand. The tariff for then like one thousand five hundred and sixty two naira, and Nigerians they shout. Jonathan not know anything. Jonathan na mumu. He not sabi uh, governance and all that. Now so they push him. Come out. Then during uh, Buari's uh, turn, uh, tenor, I beg your pardon, the former president. Now so they can't still increase the uh, tariff. Now so they shout. This is, you want killers? The tariff can't be 6,000. 562 naira 50 kobo. Nigerians shout, shout, shout. Now, won't kill us. Even with the light, one another, one another bring. Boom. Bola met. So now they shout. He did do where? This, this, and this. We are not much for tariff now. 10,000 naira. <laughs> oh my God. Nigeria is just a rant. Left, right, and center. Make everybody get prepared. That is the truth. If you wear bed, bed and wear. If you tie wrapper, use rope, tie them. Because now, now, now life don't start for Nigeria. Nobody should complain. No. Now, now, now life don't start. This is not going to be easy at all. Okay. Make we even hear with Nigerians they talk. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you, Nigerians. The administration of President Bola Metinobo has been subjected to criticism as a result of implementation of a value-added tax of 7.5% on the price of premium motor spirit, PMS, also known as petrol. According to Niger News, Nigerians have started to complain no, about the implications of the levy, which comes only a little over a month after the federal government start, stated that it will no longer provide subsidy for petrol. Remember that on May 29, as Tunubu was giving his inaugural statement, he announced that the fuel subsidy scheme would be Coming to an end as a result of the event, the price of PMS increased from 188 naira to somewhere between 530 and 580 in a number of states. Zainab Ahmed, who is currently the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, made the announcement earlier that the Finance Act 2020 increased the previous VAT of the country, which was 5% to 7.5% on commodities, including 
automotive petrol oil and that it went into effect on February 20, 2022. However, honey, bread, series, cooking oil, cooking oils, culinary herbs, fish, flour, starch, fruit, meats, poultry, milk, nuts, pulses, roots, salt, vegetables, water, sanitary parts, temples, and tuition for tertiary, secondary, primary, and nursery schools are not subject to VAT, according to the information gathered by Niger News. Weeks other groups have been VAT complaints for some time. PMS was not until very recently since the federal government subsidized it. The most recent event has elicited a variety of responses from Nigerians, and the most notable of which is a widespread demand for a comprehensive re-examination of the tax. As Nigerian said, the legislative branch had to look into this matter again. There should be no value-added tax on PMSO. Not, not, nevertheless, individual states should be permitted to impose consumption tax on PMS inside their borders, a levy of 5% liter would be accepted for the development of the public transit system in a state like Lagos or Yo might choose to produce its own 7% liter in house. And another person say he does he does away with the subsidy and even tax on additional taxes to your wahala, you will soon get the reason why the official barat and excessive taxation are ins inspe inse inseparable identical twins. It is strange to even consider the possibility that some ignorant people are backing this administration. People are encouraging APC to dismantle whatever is left of Buhari's disaster. Thus, the party is on a mission to do just that. Hmm. The subsidy was unexpected cut off, and there was neither a, transi a, a, a transition period nor any urgent action taken to mitigate the impact. The Fox kept their silence. They made adjustments and have not yet fulfilled fully recovered. The cost of petrol has just been increased by a value added tax of 7.5%. So the price of pe pe uh, the power will go up by 40% beginning on the 1st of July. Tunubu's whole political career has been spent acting on a, on a rent, seeking landlord no creativity, no original ideas, just voxing around Nigeria, impose world tax on the general population again. This man won't let the poor Brits. The speaker said singers should quickly transition into wellers since time we bring you there. Just try to relax for a while. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So we never see anything yet. Just get prepared. I'm dropping it. Kindly share your 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 thought below the comment section. Thank you.